Welcome to a special edition of my channel because my rep over at Lexar reached out to me this morning and told me that yes, they are going to have some crazy deals on Lexar products. So we are going to take a look at some of those right now. Now, these aren't going to reflect the exact deals because by the time you see it, these deals should even be better. Um, these deals are on Amazon and on the Lexar page. So let's get into it right away. When you click on the link below in the description, it will bring you to this Lexar page in Amazon and you can take a look at all their deals going on. Now, the deals that we're looking at right now may change by the time you see it in a good way. So these are really good deals, but they're gonna be taking some more off as well. So let's just take a look at them and know that they can be up to 60% off, which which is actually pretty good when it comes to Lexar. Now, the main cards I use with the Lexar are these SD cards. They are the new Pro ones. They're 300 megabytes uh, read and write speed, which is pretty darn impressive. Um, I use those on the Canon R6 Mark II. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, it's the Canon R6 Mark II looking at me. Usually it's the R7. And yes, I have the 14 to 35 F4 looking at me. And uh, let's see, it is at 23 millimeters. That's what it's at, at F4, so not bad. Now, right here, the 128 gigabit is actually a decent price at $109. I know, that seems like a lot, but this card is amazing. This card has not failed me at all. It is pretty good. The 256 is what I use, so I have dual 256s, but for most people, the 128 is enough, unless you're shooting 4K video all the time, or it's a backup for 8K video. But if you are using the R6 Mark II, you still can get away doing the 4K 60 frames per second with this one. Uh, this one is right there. So we've got the 512 gigabyte. This one still reads pretty fast, 280, and the write speed is 160, which is more than enough when it comes to recording your um, R6 Mark II or even your R5 footage when shooting 6K, 4K, 80K. I don't know what, when you're watching this video, things change pretty fast. So 4K 60, this thing will definitely be fine. Um, and 512, not bad, $143. This is a vacation card. You go on vacation and uh, yeah, you totally will not run out of space. Now, you go on vacation, you're gonna wanna get another one of these as a backup in your dual recording because it's vacation. You don't wanna lose anything by accident. So I always recommend dual backup with cards. If you have an EOSR, oh man, that stinks because you only have that one card slot, but an R6, an R5, an R6 II, an R7, an APS-C camera has a dual card slot you do wanna do it the right way. And if you go down a little bit further, you can get 128 gigabit dual cards right here. Here's your backup, 128 gigs right there. And there you go. If you have a DJI drone or any drone that takes a micro SD card, these are the cards I use. One terabyte, you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose any space here. Um, this one is only 73 bucks, that is pretty good. Uh, again, this one might come down, but it's already 43% off, but $73 for this micro SD card. I use it in drone, or you can use it in your GoPro as well, which again, stay tuned because that review on the new GoPro 12 is coming out. Now, real quick, I did wanna discuss the 14 to 35 RF lens F4. This thing is honestly amazing. It's looking at me right now, and I've been using it for the last few days, and it's great. Now, on Amazon, you can get it renewed for $1,074, but again, I have to reiterate this. If you have a Best Buy, if you go in person and you order it at the customer service desk, you might get lucky like I did, which this brand new cost $850. Unheard of. Usually $1,500 on sale for $1,200, but then through Best Buy, 850, not sure how that works. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is this microphone. You might be wondering, what ginormous microphone are you using, Jared? Well, this is the Sennheiser MKH416. I've been using it for about a year and a half, so all the videos you've seen in my studio 
is actually coming from this for audio. You just don't see it. It's out of the shot. Here I have it connected to, oh, what is this? The Tascam Porta-Capture X8. I actually use this to stream into my computer and then I can hook up XLR on that. It's actually pretty good. The reason I wanted to bring this up is there is a ridiculous deal if you can get it. Now, they keep fluctuating in quantities, but right now, you can get it for $798. The one I actually got is the one that came with the windshield and the mount right there. And yes, I, I use it all the time. The best mouse I've ever used in my entire life is the MX Master 3S. This thing is quiet. You can probably hear that only because it's near the microphone. It is so quiet. It is an amazing mouse, works on all surfaces, including glass. I can't speak highly enough. Plus it's programmable. I use it for cutting, pasting, and editing in DaVinci Resolve. It's a quick, easy editing mouse. Now I wanted to keep this video pretty quick, but if you like these videos where I tell you the deals that are going on, well, give it a thumbs up, but also make a comment below because it really shows me that, hey, yeah, Jared, keep making videos that show us the deals that are coming out because we might be interested. Say, Jared, show me the deals and I will. If you wanna keep up with the latest gear and opinionated thoughts from me, well then, subscribe. Meanwhile, check out a video right here. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Everybody does, they just rave about these videos. It's just amazing. I'm pretty good. I'm probably the most modest person you're gonna ever meet. I gotta go to bed now.